Good afternoon, ladies and germs. Uh, I'm at the American Truck Simulator again. I have a, not a plan, but I, I'm thinking of doing a video a, a day for the month of February, uploading an American Truck Simulator a day video, hopefully, like uh, show my progress, my slow progress. I just started a new profile basically because I've, uh, I've been doing some testing. And let me go really quick, really quickly to this thing. Hopefully, I don't jinx it, knock on wood. But uh, I have this one here, uh, the new profile. I had it before, but you know, I never played with it. And I'm doing this thing in here right now, actually. So I'm having, as you can see, the US expansion. Uh, it's not in a specific way, but uh, I've read forums, like even last year, early, uh, I mean, late last year, I was reading on forums about the coast to coast and the Canada Drive or whatever. Canada Drive. <laughs> Canada Dream and uh, you know all these two basic I don't have the Mexico map I don't want to take any chances basically right now so the game is play it's it's working fine I mean I did a few deliveries in um, in Canada so I had uh, I had some good luck with these things in here uh, I added this mode in here realistic lights because you know it was horrible so uh, I don't know if I should try any other modes Let's see if I can add any other modes in there, but uh, realistic graphics mode is in there. Realistic graphic modes. Where is realistic graphic? Oh, realistic graphic modes is right in there. Okay. And I'm not sure if I should put any other modes. Actually, I don't want to. I don't want the game to crash. But if it crashes, I know at least that in this specific order that I'm having, this works for me. So I'm not gonna post links on the. On where to get these modes in here, but some of them, like this and the uh, this one in here and this one in here, you can get them through the workshop, Steam Workshop. But this one, you have to download them and add them to your uh, mode file. I'm not gonna go through. I'm not gonna link link post in, uh, on the descriptions because uh, you can do a simple research, online research, and you'll find these things in here that uh, you can download them. But uh, I can give you the names of the like man treat or whatever he's uh, you know those are the maniacs for example and then i'm pretty sure if i add the mexico viva mexico for example i'm pretty sure it's gonna work but right now i'm excited to have coast to coast and uh, enhanced vegetation and new mountain texture i had them before but you know i think they were uh, they were uh, i had plenty of modes in the previous profile and you know it was I, I don't know which one was crashing but right now I'm kind of excited that you know this uh, mod works I mean this thing works right now so let's get into it I'm gonna take a uh, I'm gonna take a trip a short trip hopefully not a long trip and uh, I'm not gonna put any uh, time lapse or anything I'm just gonna bore you guys to death if you planning on staying on the video I'm pretty sure the video is gonna be about an hour long most likely uh, I don't have a truck yet. I'm still building up. I don't want to get a loan from uh, from the banks. I'm not loaning. I'm trying to do uh, quick jobs and get my uh, my money first. Like you know, maybe get like about two hundred thousand dollars in game money, and then uh, buy a truck, and then maybe upgrade the garage, buy maybe a truck or two, hire another uh, a slave. I call them, and uh, yeah. So like I said, I did give it a try uh, having. Uh, delivery in Vancouver, so it worked at now Idaho. I've uh, I read on the SCS forums that you know uh, they releasing it like soon. So these are like you know I don't have Mexico. I don't want to install Mexico yet. I'm happy that you know I have this thing in here. Now I'm not sure if I take a trip to New York, for example, uh, it may crash or whatever if I take a trip to New York. But so far it's working. I've uh, had some deliveries in Montana as you can see so it kind of works it works right now I'm glad that it works so I'm gonna take another trip right now hopefully I don't want to take a long trip so this this looks good for example but I have discovered those things so I want to I want to take a trip that uh, I have I want to go through cities that I have not discovered like Ontario Ontario isn't it Ontario in Canada I thought Ontario was in Canada. 
unless I'm missing something. Anyway, anyway. So that's from Washington to Oregon, maybe from Idaho to Utah. Let's do this. Uh, if I do this, most likely, yeah. This looks about right. I was in Idaho earlier and it works fine. Uh, Utah to Nevada, maybe. This will discover a couple of cities, but it's a long trip, so I don't want to. I think this is good. Let's take this. 350 uh, 350 miles now as a as a truck driver still I mean on the game I'm getting better but I still suck at it so let's see the like this is the map basically like if you can see the map this is the map the coast to coast it kind of like I said so far so good knock on wood it works okay I don't have any issues, I don't have any frame drops, as you can see on the top left corner up there where the percentage is 61 frames per second, I'm not sure if the video is recording it, but anyway, eventually I want to move through East Coast and I want to ride only in, I want to drive only in East Coast, for example, so anyway, let's take a look at the route and maybe we can, uh, we can have a faster route, maybe we can discover a faster route, like if we go through here, nope, so We've been through those. Yeah, it looks good, so let's go. Which way is the exit now? Is that the exit? I think the exit is this way. Right. <clears throat> I always suck, like, you know, I always get lost in the garage. So anyway, uh, I've said it before in, several, in previous videos that uh, I've been building a uh, gaming PC or slash, actually speaking of it, let me open the, the window in here, Opa. of my... Uh, my computer so we go left sixth gear let's put it on fourth second I'm gone yeah I think we crashed this I think somebody crashed into us man how dare they So anyways, I was saying I, I'm building a PC, a gaming PC, uh, slash works, like editing the videos that I'm, uh, I'm recording in here, so eventually I have to do a video, I have to do a video of it, of the system, but it's an AMD, it's a Ryzen 5 uh, 30X, 36X chip set, and I have some, uh, graphic cards graphics card is from geforce 2070 super black gaming edition some i don't know like you know some names of the i, I have to pull the, the the sheet specs i do have the sheet specs of the stuff i got so i've been uh, trying to build a gaming pc for the past i don't know maybe since 2010 maybe i want to build one uh, we break the speed limit right now but anyway so i finally managed to build one this year i uh it it was quite i wouldn't say easy but it was simple actually it wasn't that complicated last year for my birthday because it was my birthday basically a couple of weeks ago so anyway last year i bought an alienware laptop I needed that one, the laptop, I needed because of my uh, bike, like, you know, to use it for uh, the computer on my, uh, the, the software for my motorcycle, for example. It needed a, a Windows, a Windows uh, sir, uh, OS, and I tried to put a Windows OS on uh, Apple device, but, you know, I, uh, it didn't work, 
very well so I decided to buy an Allen wheel like a 15 inch it's too big for using it with a software with a bike software but it did work actually so I can reset manual uh, service inter intervals and all that stuff so oh it doesn't have higher gear so yeah I mean I built it up I mean I bought the the, the Allenware I'm, I used it and it was quite good machine it still it's a good machine I did my previous videos like it was on on that machine on the Allenware 15R4 and uh, yeah I thought about it like been a Mac user for the past 10 years so I decided to use, you know, Windows last year, and uh, no regrets. I'm not going, you know, I have no regrets. I had really, really uh, bad experience with Apple. I mean, I used to have Final Cut series, the, the Final Cut 7 Pro, and then you know, Apple kept updating it, and I was updating the system as they were updating it. So basically, I ended up losing all that uh, the softwares I have. I had the Apple ProRes or whatever, all those things, like you know, that costed like thousands of dollars. Although I did not buy it, it was uh, it was taken from you know my friend was giving him you know my uh, his uh, his software he gave it to me. So, but regardless of it, I could not make it work anymore. And then uh, I contacted Apple. Maybe they could they can bring a solution. But they say that I had to rebuy the Final Cut 10 Pro, uh, Pro 10, whatever that thing is. So. Uh, also with uh, app, uh, iPads and uh, iPhones uh, for Christmas I got a gift a couple of like three four years ago I got a gift from uh, from my sister I got an Apple I mean an iPad and I'm not sure if anyone remembers then uh, it was even on the news actually when Apple released the software like people were updating software and you know a lot of corrupt uh, devices were you know like Apple was like you know corrupting was breaking devices and mine was affected from it I went to Apple store and they said that I had to replace the the chipset or whatever the inside thing and it was gonna cost me like 300 hours which the whole freaking thing costed like I don't know how much my sister paid for it, but you know basically I can buy a, a used iPad on eBay or whatever for that amount of price for that for that amount of money so you know there was a lot of event that you know kind of I, would, I wouldn't say broke my heart but uh, kind of made me switch from Apple to non Apple I even had a switch my iPhone actually I got a Blackberry but I lost it last year uh, I got caught in the rain kind of a heavy weather rain I mean heavy heavy rain we're talking about monsoon type of rain and I was soaked completely was not expecting it actually I checked the usually before I ride my bike before I commute to work or regardless of it I usually check the weather report and that day said no rain cloudy skies but unfortunately that was not the case so anyway long story short I lost my uh, I had a Blackberry back then Blackberry key no, uh, the key 2 and right now I'm still using an, uh, an iPhone but I'm using an iPhone 6s actually I haven't had the chance to buy another phone actually I've not thinking of buying a new phone anytime soon because uh, what do you call I don't feel like spending thousand dollars to buy a new phone when I don't use the phone that much I only use it for phone calls and text messages only actually not even phone calls actually only text messages not even email but sometimes emails are faster right now so I've been using the phone for emails as well so that's the only thing I'm using it so I don't the iPhone 6s I got, I got it from my niece she upgraded her phone and uh, I ended up getting hers. It's work. It works fine. No complaints. So far, I mean, for what I needed to. So yeah, that's the the story about the iMac user and Apple user switching to a uh, Windows device. And uh, so far, it's been a year. Right now, I could say like a year and a week that uh, I've been a happy Windows user. So basically, I can't really complain about it. I have no complaints so far, but I'm pretty sure you know it has its uh, its uh, cons, of course, like everything else. But 
I'm happy so far. The only pre the only problem I have right now is with the motherboard. I'm using what motherboard is I'm using an A AS Rock S Rock, whatever they call it, I think. I may be killing the name, so if as Rock it's look yeah, listening or watching this video, which I doubt it. Sorry but if I'm killing your name or your pronunciation, but I'm using an as Rock Phantom Gaming X, I think. Yeah and uh, I have some RGB lights in here. Thankfully, it got stuck to a uh, static color, actually. So it's not the, the the rainbow effect. Otherwise, I would have disconnected the the rainbow from the the LEDs from the motherboard. But unfortunately, I cannot use the I cannot use the what do you call the software? Whatever the software is, like you know the poly chromy phony something. It it got corrupted or whatever. It stopped working. It's not. It's not launching at all. I looked it online. I, you know, I looked everywhere, to see, and I try to do those things. And when I go to flash the the system, it's uh, the software of it itself. It says that you know this is not compatible with this uh, OS system. So whatever I this I completely uh, uninstalled from the system. Right now, it, it, the LED got stuck in green. And I had before, like I said before on previous videos, if anyone saw it, my uh, case it's white. I had some pink LED light, uh, pink lights, but I switched now to blue lights. So green and blue right now. That's the setup. I may switch it into a dark red, maybe the lights. But unfortunately, I cannot switch the lights on the motherboard itself because the motherboard has like you know the lights. I cannot turn off those lights. Right now, without the software, I think, as if you guys know about the Ezrock Phantom Gaming X motherboard, whatever, it has. Uh, these are annoying. It has, you know, some uh, lights on the on the motherboard. The motherboard itself has some lights on it that comes in that that stays constantly on. Whenever you uh, you shut off the system. The lights they stay completely on so they don't shut off which is kind of annoying but uh, I, I take it I mean I don't mind that thing at all but it would be annoying actually to not shut that thing off so anyway that motherboard it's it's good I have no problems with it beside that one I kind of like it I wish I could uh, I could find a solution for it. So I have anyone if anyone knows any solutions of the LED corrupt thingy, you can put it down below in the comment section. Try not to post any links because I'm pretty sure uh, knowing YouTube they will delete the links if you post any links, whatever. But uh, yeah, I. I guarantee you I searched everywhere and I cannot find a solution I try to do I try to follow them the solutions that shit oops I try to follow the solutions but you know nothing happened so um, yeah beside that one like a minor problem but the game it's uh, the the computer itself works fine no problems at all uh, I overclocked a little bit which I know nothing about overclocking but uh, luckily this motherboard comes up with the service manual comes like you know it's, it's about like you know an inch thick almost the manual whatever hey, he's trying to merge him to my lane man what's up son you wanna go you wanna go come on get in get in 32,000 pounds vehicle compared to 5,000 pounds vehicle I wonder who's gonna win so anyway as I was saying uh, overclocking it uh, I was looking at the I, I read it has actually it has this motherboard itself comes up with a uh, overclock overclocking kind of manual like you know minor overclocking it's not like anything crazy but uh, lights man where are the lights see I gotta love this thing see the lights and it's kind of awesome like the the game lights are like they, they suck it but anyway as I was saying, like you know, overclocking. So I was reading a little bit. I overclocked it a little bit. Uh, the chips that I had, like I said, I have 36 from Ryzen, uh, a 36X, 
and it could go up to 4 point something gigahertz I currently running I think at 36 I think no 36 was was factory uh, I think I'm running at 38 with 1.4 volt I think because I've been reading a lot that you know uh, the Ryzen likes to go on voltage, likes to use a lot of high voltage. I'm using a, a liquid cooler, like a all-in-one uh, thing, like an IO, I, IAO, whatever thing. I'm using a Corsair 100i, 240 millimeter fan. I regret not putting a 320 or whatever. It's like 360. I think it was yeah 360 like put three fans three 120s in there I regret not doing that actually so I got a 240 radiator I have a radiator with it I have some Corsair ML like uh, fans that you know the case came with it I have a Corsair Carbide 678C case which you know in the pictures I didn't read the specs actually but this thing is quite big like about two and a half feet tall basically so it's big it's big it's bulky did not expect it so this gives me room actually in the future like if I want to go crazy and update the uh, upgrade the the system for example which I don't think it needs any upgrade in quite some time right now but anyway I it leaves me space it leaves me room to update the system like you know put maybe another graphics card or something like running I don't know why would I do that but anyway but for sure for sure I want to get a, a bigger cooler maybe a 360 because you know the front fans actually I have a hundred two fans in the front that running 140 millimeter fans but I can put like the the 360 radiator in the front because currently it's sitting on the top the radiator of my computer so <clears throat> yeah i want to put like a front 360 and put those 240s uh, those 140s in the in the top i have Why they stop? I hate to stop on uphills. So yeah, that's a little bit of the system right now. Uh, PSU, which I like to call it, pretty shitty unit. It's a Corsair 850 Gold rated plus something. I don't know those names, but eventually when I do the video of the of the of the computer I'm pretty sure I'm gonna put all the specs and I'm gonna try and uh, I'm gonna try and include all those stuff so as for the game right now that I'm running I said it before I have a Thrustmaster T300, the GT something steering wheel. I have a THH shifter with it. Too slow, son, too slow. The shifter, I don't have a dedicated shifter for the trucking game. I would love to get one in the future, but uh, seeing that that thing costs about 100. Averaging at a hundred dollars, I would say like hundred twenty dollars average. I'll be holding for it. I mean, so far it's been right. You know, the game has been playing well with the shifter as well, so I don't mind. I also have a G27 steering wheel. It's in my storage room. That uh, I don't know. I'm thinking of selling it, but knowing that that thing has been discontinued and it's a, I wouldn't say it's a collectible item. I wouldn't say it's a collectible, but anyway, I'm trying. I, I'd like to keep that. Uh, come on, hurry up a little bit, man. Speed limit at 60. I got places to do and things to go, or whatever it's called. I think so. 
Yeah, so I'd like to keep that uh, that Logitech steering wheel. I'm not sure if it works right now. It's been sitting on the storage room for like the past two years. I may eventually sell it for the right price. So it's like barely used it. I only use it with Gran Turismo 5 actually when I was playing the game, which I almost completed like at 90%. So anyway. <clears throat> Drivers, man. Come on, downhill, let's go. Plenty of room, don't break, check me. Anyway, so now about the American truck simulator in here. I don't know what to say, I mean, it's a pretty interesting game. I saw the other day, I saw that uh, somebody was playing in Japan, would love to do that thing actually. I would really love to do like, you know, play Japan, like see the Japanese. Because, let's face it, these things, it's a little realistic, I mean, these roads, these streets, compared to uh, real world actually, they're close, they're not exactly the same, but at least, you know, the scenery, it's almost the same basically so you can uh, you can see a little bit of scenery in here I uh, cannot wait to go to uh, east coast on this and see like you know how quick I mean how you can bypass a heavy weight station of course I can bypass so anyway I would love to see the the east coast like Boston New York New Jersey Philadelphia Washington and Baltimore I've been to those places, Miami, Florida, and all those things. I've been to those. I would, I would like to compare it to a real, into the real life. Bye bye, sucker. So, we'll see. But you know, it's good experience actually. Like, it's just a game, but it's a fun game to play. So, I was saying like, uh, I still have the European Truck Simulator. I played it the other day a little bit and see what's the deal with that thing and to be honest I was kind of annoyed because you know it was speed limit and I started in Italy actually so I was kind of bummed because of the speed limit and all the stuff All the speed limits that you know I had to go like in your at least in here we have like about 70 75 miles an hour speed limit in the in the west coast in Nevada and all those country uh, all those states I'm pretty sure in East Coast it's like 65 yeah annoying 65 miles an hour but still I take it 110 kilometers an hour 120 kilometers an hour it's not that bad compared to Europe that they have it like you know at least on the game at like 50s or like 80 kilometers an hour for trucks at least what the hell so anyway we're almost here we have about like you know two three more minutes of riding driving And yeah, as I was saying, like, you know, that's why I like the American Plus. I live in America right now, in the, not in America, I live in the US, actually. United States, America, it's a big continent. So, that's a wrong thing to do. Holy shit, where, where is the road in here? I got lost. I gotta turn on the high beam. Man. Holy shit, we gotta do some off roading. Really? Did I have to do this thing, man? Come on, what the hell?
Whatever. Yep, I knew I was gonna button them down. God damn it. And shit. I got stuck. Oh yeah, come on, come on, come on, yes. I don't have to be late on my delivery. Well, shit happens, you know, that's what happens when you do that stuff. I'm not gonna... Off-roading with... are they freaking serious? I mean... The trailer... I don't think the trailer works on these conditions, man. I mean, if you see the trailer, look at the trailer, like it's... so low so riding off will open up man yo I guess I gotta I gotta make a new hole a new door in there I thought that was the gate I ain't going through there Holy shit. I have the differential lock in here locked in, so thank goodness this is not my truck, company truck, so I don't care if I break the differential. I remember first time playing this this game. Holy moly, horrible. It's not that I improved any or anything right now, I'm still horrible. But at least it's uh, less frustrating, like... We made it. Alright, so let's give it a... Let's give it a go in the parking. Now, before we start parking, of course... Uh, I'm gonna... Attempt at least, like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm gonna attempt and do a video a day actually on the American Truck Simulator in February. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fail. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna manage to do that thing, of course, because boredom and also uh, get busy with it. Now we gotta figure out how to park in there. Do we have room? Oh, plenty of room. This is an easy parking. Oh yeah, this is an easy parking. Oh, 
Oh, too much, too mucho, too mucho, opa. I escaped too much. Like I said, uh, improvement, yes, I, I think I did improve, but... Even on the parking, I mean, it used to take me like 45 hours to park the trailer, now it takes me 45 minutes. So, for me, that's an improvement. To me, that looks good. No? Anyone has any complaints about it? About my parking skills? Complaints to the management. I like the parking. Let's shut off the light. Nah, let's not shut off. Anyway, so. Decouple the trailer. And. Um, there you have it, excellent, all of these things in here, I don't think I'm going to level up, but we got a good amount of experience, uh, I don't know what else, I mean these videos went almost like 40 minutes, so, coast to coast, like in 2020, would it work, it's February 1st, uh, February, yeah, February 1st, today, uh, Saturday, and uh, yeah, I mean, the coast to coast and Canada Dream, I think what it's called, uh, it works actually. I did not have any luck earlier, but right now it works fine with with the game. So I'm gonna try and add a few more modes. I mean, extra modes and give it a few tests. I don't want to do it right now live or like you know on the video because you know I don't have time to to do this thing. I need to edit this video and upload it on the tube and go to sleep because i had to wake up early tomorrow on sunday i work weekends unfortunately or fortunately either way so i don't have time for that thing right now but uh, i'm gonna play around a little bit with the modes and see uh what's my limitations i mean how many modes i can add before the game crashes so other than that uh if you have any comments about the video or what should i improve or what should i uh, do or next uh, leave it down below in the comment section uh, check it on check me on Facebook. I, mean, I don't use Facebook, so disregard that. But if you want to uh, Skyclad Gaming on Facebook as well, you can add uh, most mostly it's for uh, War Tune games right there. But uh, uh, but the Sky uh, but the American Truck Simulator. Uh, I don't know what to say. I mean, I, I like this game a lot actually. I don't want to do racing anymore, so this game is quite good. Uh, can't wait for the Idaho uh, DLC to come out. I mean, I'm that type of person that you know I would spend whatever money it's worth it. I mean, if I see it, it's a it's a good value, I would buy it. But um, most likely I will, and then uh, add it to my collection. I mean, I have all the DLC, all the DLCs almost. almost I mean the, the, the city DLCs, I don't have all the bullshit stuff, the Wilson stuff, so I'll go through that thing on the next video maybe, uh, what what I have on the game, I mean what DLCs I have, what I spend money to buy the game, and uh, what I don't have, and what I wouldn't get, so anyway, uh, uh, if you find this video entertaining, which I don't know, for whatever reason, uh, hit the thumbs up, if you don't like the video, hit the thumbs down, uh, consider subscribing, and help help a little bit the channel uh, i mean i'm having fun doing this thing right now so yeah i'm gonna end the video right now and i'll catch you guys tomorrow on the next on the next american truck simulator on the next adventure so stay warm be safe and uh see you guys next time thanks for watching again bye